Hey guys, what's up? Uh, so today I just have a quick video for you. Um, picked up this Bluetooth 5.1 uh, dongle from EVO. Uh, it's apparently plug and play, which means all you need to do is place it into your USB port on your motherboard and you should be good to go. All the drivers and everything are supposed to be ready for you. Um, the reason I purchased this is I upgraded my computer to a budget gaming PC coming from an Intel i5 with a uh, gigabyte 460B, uh, I believe it was B motherboard. Um, good board, it was an um, ATX motherboard, large board, lots of ports, uh, you know, fast, everything was good. But um, yeah, I, I felt like, you know, with the i5 processor, and the board, I wasn't getting my maximum RAM capacity. Um, nothing could be done about that. So uh, I, I basically switched over to an AMD 5 Series uh, 5600X uh, and I picked up an Asus 450M AM uh, motherboard, I believe. Um, sorry, 450M A2 motherboard. Um, it's a budget board budget processor but again it's a budget uh, PC gaming PC um, just wanted to get my hands wet with AMD not really never really used it um, so but I like it so far but anyway getting the board um, getting that board at a budget price I had to take a hit on some some key features one of them was lacking uh, the Bluetooth built-in and also uh, no Wi-Fi built-in so I had to pick up one of these as well, Wi-Fi adapter. I'm gonna do a separate video on that. But basically, uh, good value from what I'm told. Uh, just wanted to show you guys what it is. See if you guys, um, you know, if you guys need to get a good Bluetooth, um, you know, adapter. Show you guys if this is really worth it. Um, so basically, you can see here, uh, there's no Bluetooth enabled so I'm showing you guys the real uh, it's not an option there's no Bluetooth on this motherboard um, now why would you want uh, Bluetooth well you may have a Bluetooth headset that you need to connect you may have a wireless uh, keyboard and combo mouse combo that you want to connect via Bluetooth also if you're like me and you like getting calls on your computer using the Windows Microsoft Windows phone link you're going to see that you cannot do that without Bluetooth. Um, you can receive text messages. Um, that's using your phone's Bluetooth to allow you to get messages and send messages. But calls cannot be received or placed using the phone link unless you have Bluetooth enabled on your computer. And because of my motherboard, I don't have one. So I'm going to plug this in. We're going to see if it recognizes it. See if it's truly plug and play. Uh, and then I'll leave a link for this this uh, product in the description below and you guys if you're interested you can um, use the referral link I greatly appreciate it otherwise um, you know I'll, I'll show you guys whether or not it's working and then we'll wrap this up all right guys be right back all right guys so as you can see all I did was literally take it out the package plug it into the back of my computer into one of the open USB ports and as you can see it's showing a little Bluetooth icon and it's not connected. It's not connected because I haven't linked any Bluetooth devices to it but as you saw in the previous uh, cut before we before I paused the video you saw there was no Bluetooth icon there. Literally it's ready to go so it lives up to the hype. It's plug and play, no drivers needed uh, bang for dollar automatically um, very good reviews on Amazon um, pretty fast ship a one-day prime shipping so uh, like I said I'll leave a link for this uh, product in the description below any questions thoughts concerns recommendations whatever you have uh, feel free to let me know in the comments below I really appreciate you guys for watching I hope you do find some of these videos uh, useful. I'm trying to do regular everyday videos on things that I use. Basically, I'm just a regular guy. I needed this product um, due to the lack of it being on my board. 
I'm not trying to get the, the most expensive product. I'm not trying to get the cheapest product. I'm trying to think logical. I'm trying to get bang for dollar. You don't want something that's cheap and is going to break in a day. You don't want something that's expensive and useless, like overkill. You don't need it. Uh, I think Bluetooth 5.1 for this board, for, for what I'm doing, is just, just great. Um, so that's that. Um, be sure to check out the next video I'm going to do. It's going to be the TP-Link uh, adapter. Because, um, again, this has no Wi-Fi, so I need to set that up as well. And I'll show you guys what that's like, how that works, and my thoughts on that as well. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, peace.